Hi everyone, Quid's back again with Inkscape tutorial number 5 on how to use the spiral tool. So here we are in Inkscape, shortcut to get the spiral tool is F9, or the little button there. It's quite easy to use that one, just click and then drag out to the size of the spiral you want. We can change the angle just by moving the mouse there. Yeah, but then up here on this toolbar, you've got number of turns, so you can adjust that. You can put a 0.5, put 50, or we could put yeah, 100. And it gets a bit dark because of the size of the spiral. If you're creating bigger, then you can still see the lines. Yeah, you get some quite weird effects as well, putting the uh, number of turns up. I mean. And that goes right up to 1024. But if you've got a bit of a slow computer, it wouldn't go beyond, say, 300. Example. No, it still did it quick enough. But yeah, it uh, requires a bit of processing power the more turns you put in. So, let's get rid of that. That one as well. You can also address the divergence, and that's how dense or sparse the outer revolutions are. So, increase it, the outer ones become wider, decrease it, the inner ones become wider. You can also adjust the inner radius. That's where the innermost spiral starts. Okay. So I've done a few examples here. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'll go through how to create all those. Right. So I start with example one. So I've put some notes here on number of turns, divergence, and inner radius to use. So let's pop those in. That's one point seven nine. Divergence 1 and in a radius 0.145. Now let's get a duplicate of it, Control D and press H to get a mirror image. Now if we click up here, snap to paths and snap to cusp nodes. Let's rotate that one around a bit further. I uh, get another duplicate of that. This time we'll rotate this one. Pop it on there. And another duplicate. Control D. And rotate it again. There we go. Similar. So example 2. Let's delete that lot. So like that. This time we've got two turns, divergence one, inner radius 0.5. Let's rotate that one round. About there. Control D, duplicate, and mirror image. You can also do that from here. Yep, flip horizontal. Now we've got cusp node to cusp node. There we are. Number three now. So it's fairly similar to that, but I've actually got a stroke line coming across there. So I'll show you how to get that. It's another shape again. Turns to divergence one in a radius 0 0.12. 0 0.12. Then if we go to object. Nope, sorry, path. You get dynamic offset, control J. Do that. You can see it moves the path around between those points. And I just did a fill color on that. I could just take the basic fill color there. Easy enough. So then for example four, 
Well, that is a spiral there. What I've done is created, created it with dotted lines. So I'll show you that one. Need to turn the fill off. Yep. Now that was turns 100. Divergence. We've got one. No, nope, reading the wrong one there. Divergence one in a radius zero. And I said stroke style. If we go here, dashes. It's one with two dots. There we go. Or if it's a bit smaller, it might look like the other one. Yeah. It's pretty close. In fact, you can get a lot of weird effects using these dashes. And to show you the next one, number five. And yeah, it's a bit hypnotic that, and yeah, if you suffer epilepsy, I might look away now for this. So that turns 150. That's a nice effect there. All right, divergence. 1.04 and the stroke style four dashes now I keep forgetting which one this is I think it's that one there yeah not bad I'm go and colour it in now which we use An orange colour already orange Yeah, something like that. And a stroke colour. Blue. A bit darker. Yeah. So it's getting a bit slow at moving that now because of the number of spirals, or number of turns in the spiral. Make it a bit smaller. In fact, I could have increased the number of turns, messed around with a divergence. See, it's just one to play around with. Well, that concludes this look at the spiral tool on Inkscape. So please, thumbs up and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll see you later.